To record a GPS track, you need to activate a plugin. To do this, go to the configuration panel, then to plugin. Once in the screen plugins, select trip recording, tap on the three dots and enable it. On the main screen, a record or GPX button should have appeared at the top right corner. To start recording a track, tap the record button, change the options if necessary, and then tap start recording. A red dot will appear next to the record or GPX button to indicate you are recording the track. Once done, save and stop tracking. Make sure you save the track before stopping it or it won't be recorded. Don't forget to stop tracking after saving, otherwise the app will continue recording your track. To view all your tracks, go to My Places and tap on the Tracks tab, next to Favorites. Here you can see all the tracks recorded and manage them. By default, they are stored in a record folder, but you can also organize them into folders. By tapping on the three small dots next to each recorded track, you have access to options such as Show on Map, Move to Folder, Rename, Share or Delete. By selecting a track, you can access information about it, such as length and profile. You can also visualize it on the map. You are also able to import external data to the OSM and app. From My Places, tap on the plus button you have on the bottom left-hand corner and browse on your device to get the GPX file you want to import. You can import both points and tracks. We hope this video has been useful in explaining the purpose, basic features and functions of the OSM and application. This will support your work as a logistician in any MSF project. There are more advanced features that the OSM and app can offer and we encourage you to explore the app. For now, let's practice the basics. Thanks for listening.